It's been a while since I put a video out here on YouTube and it's hot as heck right now. And I thought I'd just do a little update and show you my baby. But first I want to let you know a little bit about why I care for this passion as much as I really do. And uh, back in 2003, I was shot two times in a bar robbery. And I was security there and I stopped the robbery, but I took two shots in the process. And uh, since then, I've found out that I have PTSD due to that and it affects me in ways of media, being out in people out in crowds I can't really handle people being behind me or around me I like to be in front of the crowd so I guess that's why I do videos but since June 13th I have not been able to sweat keeps going in my eyes and I have not been able to get the boat on the water or paddle I got hurt at work and thought it was a torn rotator's cup. Come to find out that the MRI showed just a severe case of chronic tendonitis in my left shoulder. I went through two weeks of physical therapy, four doctor visits, and it's not getting better. I'm thinking there might be something else wrong with my tendon in my shoulder other than chronic tendonitis. So, it may look like I'm on the water right now, but I'm not. I'm sitting in my baby. I just got her washed up. And I've been able to get her on the water for a long time. So, I've made a couple mods and tinkered with it a little bit. So, now that you know about me, why I kayak and why I haven't been posting videos lately, I've been fighting going between doctor's visits and physical therapy and work. I'm putting one up today to show you what I've done to my kayak and now you know why I love kayaking so much. It gets me out away from the world into my own world. So without further ado, I'm going to show you my baby. So starting up here at the bow, I've made a handle here. It sure beats carrying or picking up the front end of the kayak with the original factory handle. It's just too sharp and real uncomfortable. So I made my own out of just a strap and I think it's a half inch PVC. I haven't painted it up yet. And, but it's there. Here's my leash to where we'll tie off or whatever. And not much has really changed under the hatch. I still got this matting here that I got to glue down. But it sits here and allows me to put stuff there without it sliding around. My battery right there. And the Mod Pod, Rod Pod, whatever you want to call it. I got my fish finder. No new mods have been done to it just the regular I took the foot pegs off because I like to have a clear area for my feet and when I stand up they just seem to get in the way I have my rod leash that I made at a weed eater line but I got to make a new one this one's a little loose and worn out I have installed my pliers right there along with a little tackle box deal and this comes to where the real fascinating stuff is behind the seat I took out the, the stock support bar and put on a piece of PVC measured it up just right put some couplers and added me a couple rod tubes tubes excuse me 
so there it works really good I can reach everything and what's nice about them is, is I can move them forward or move them back and the poles come out I want to build some more that come out at an angle so I control but that'll be when the doctor finally releases me to paddle if he ever does and then I got a cooler just an old 20 quart cooler that I had I painted up real good and it goes in there in the back fits really good haven't tried it out yet nothing inside of it just regular cooler just painted on the outside I like it it looks sick with the kayak blends in really good on top of that I got my mm, hog trough bought it from hook one really good website to get some stuff from and then my last mod that I've done is right here this little guy and I can't pick the kayak up because I'm recording with my right hand and my left arm's the one that screwed up so hopefully you can get the gist of it by what we got going on basically it's uh, some junky stroller wheels and axle put into I believe two and a quarter or two and a half inch PVC with some well hold on a second let me see if I can't get it off use my right hand okay there stroller wheel axles in here it goes into a cap I think this is just two inch yeah two inch short piece of uh, PVC up to a T short piece of PVC up to a T then another short piece of PVC and a cap and the other stroller wheel and then for support I added another 90 or not 90 but uh, two T's with a small piece of PVC in the middle of it and then the two tubes that go up behind the handle I really like this way of using a cart other than the undercarts because it's a pain in the ass to get up and flip the kayak over strap it down or put it on it and strap it down this you just pick the kayak up slide it in and go but you do have the weight of the whole kayak on that front handle so keep that in mind well that's pretty much all I have for this video but you know if you like these mods give me a like if you want to see more leave a comment try to cover everything the best I can but sometimes I forget things and I'm not perfect and another thing with these is that number there I darken it up so it's more visible makes everything a lot more easier to do in case you have warranty issues or not pretty much if you're looking into getting to a kayak guys I highly suggest the old town predator 13 to have a look just go to oldtown.com or you can go through there for Johnson Outdoors and have a look I highly 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 recommend these kayaks they are a great tool for getting on the water and fishing if you've seen the fish I've caught then you know that kayak fishing is the way to go you can go where motorboats can't and where land land fishermen can't so this is Jack and Dan off with another video for you to enjoy please like rate subscribe thank you bye now